Labor Day is right around the corner here in the US. And if you're like most Americans, you're gonna be out cooking things like hot dogs, burgers. This is all great if you have a grill, but I don't. So I can cook my hot dogs on the stove or I could do it the really scary, super dangerous, suicidal way. As an undergrad physics major, we used to get together and we would cook hot dogs and chili and eat leeks, which are tiny uh, onions that grow in the woods. And to cook our hot dogs, we wouldn't just throw them on the grill or in a pan, but we'd plug them into the wall until they exploded. This isn't the smartest, nor is it the safest thing to do. And so I'm gonna call them suicide dogs. For this build, I simply used a number six bolts, nuts, and washers, as well as an extension cord. I cut the head off the extension cord, ripped the two wires apart for about a foot, and stripped the ends. Take the bolt, drop a washer down it, and wrap the exposed portion of the wire around it. Connect the wire with another washer and nut. <laughs> Once you've done this to both ends, the hot dog cooker is complete. With the hot dog cooker unplugged, you simply plug the two bolts into the ends of the hot dog. And then we plug it into the wall. hot dog but I had significant arcing and the prongs were very dirty when I took them out so I'm gonna try to improve on that just a little bit of course you're only supposed to eat one of these a year so check back in another year for my updated one I would say that was like an 8 out of 10 Watching the current flow into this hot dog on my Norio home electricity monitor, I'll put a link to my review of that here. But as I've watched the current, it seems like when the hot dog is finished cooking, when it starts smoking, the current actually drops off significantly. So I should be able to use the Norio to tell me when the hot dog is done. Let's try it. Always be sure to plug into the hot dog before you plug into the wall and do not touch anything here until you unplug it. So we take a pretty big jump in the power usage as soon as I plug in the hot dog. It actually continues to increase for a while. Still increasing. It doesn't actually use that much. A little over 100 watts, maybe 120, 130. 40 watts. Not as much as I would have thought. Okay, it's smoking, but we're still using a lot of power. Maybe it's not done. It might just be steam. Okay, there it drops. Now it's just burning, and we've lost all conductivity through the hot dog, so our electricity use is totally gone. It just smells like burnt electric stuff. So how is this thing? Let's try it out. 
really not too bad, even on the burnt end here. But I think I can even go better on this, make something a little safer. So let's build the ultimate suicide dog rig. But it's not a suicide dog if it's not dangerous. I will have to think about that. To see how I build the Ottoman hot dog cooker, you can click right here once that video is live. I'm also including a link here to another video of something I've made that I really like. Uh, as always, be sure to check back often. I'm gonna be making things very often. And you can also subscribe. That way you get the updates when I upload something. And that's it.